All right, just going to talk to you about somebody who's on YouTube or was formerly on YouTube who is a problem and is essentially the new Westboro Baptist cult types. His name is uh, Steven Anderson, and I've done videos on him in the past exposing him and exposing his new IFB cult that he runs and that he started. And the claim is not a cult, but it is. Okay, they behave just like a cult. They have all the characteristics and warning signs of a cult. And I was part of this, this new IFB cult for, I think, almost two years. And I have a couple, a couple points I want to just quickly bring up. So, first of all, uh, Stephen Anderson, he presents himself as a King James Bible-believing Christian, but really he's nothing of the kind. Okay, he, uh, he, What he does is that he came out of a church called Regency Baptist Church, and the church that he came out of, the pastor disowned him. The pastor has cut all connections from him. Okay, When I found that out, I'm thinking... Wow, that's kind of a red flag there when I first found that out. That was a big red flag for me. But basically, you know, and of course I still stayed in the cult because, well, he's speaking a lot of truth and, you know, I'll just stick, I'll just stick with this cult. But his own sending church disowned him, you know. And, and he claims to be King James only, yet he often will correct the King James with the Greek. He'll, he'll use Greek words to try to, you know, well, the Greek word says, I have no problem with going back to the Greek, okay? I use Greek words, you know, to define, I, I use my uh, uh, lexicon to define certain words, the Strong's Concordance, I use to, to, to define certain words, but correcting the King James with the Greek is a big problem. So he's not King James only, and his doctrines are not that of, of even among independent King James only Baptists, because he presents he presents his new IFB movement as basically like a revival of what the independent Baptist movement supposedly once was, but really, you know, he his doctrine because his he has a particular set of doctrine, and um, very few similarities to traditional independent fundamental Baptist. And I'm not even a Baptist, you know, I, I have my problems with the whole independent fundamental Baptist system. Really, the whole so-called old IFB does have plenty of their own problems, but doctrinally, they are more in line with scripture than the new IFB. But uh, he's not reviving anything. He's not reviving any kind of Baptist movement of the past. His, his doctrines, again, have very few similarities with traditional Baptists. And a lot of his doctrines are plain heretical, and a lot of his doctrines, you know, differ from that of the vast majority of independent fundamental Baptists. And also mention the fact too that ma the, the vast majority, I mean, I heard about something about 900 different independent Baptist pastors have contacted Anderson's sending pastor, a guy named Stephen Nichols, with concerns about Stephen Anderson. That should say something about him. And the fact is, is that most independent Baptist churches, when they hear the name Stephen Anderson, I mean, they want to lock the doors. I mean, when they find out there's Anderson followers in their church, they, they kick him out immediately. Because the reason why is because what Anderson does is that, uh, and also Sam Gipp has talked about this a few times as well, but, but Anderson, he'll send his, his followers, his, his cult followers of the internet, into independent Baptist churches who do believe a lot, a lot of sound doctrine. They're, they're dispensational, they're pre-trib, they understand the fact that God is not done with the nation of Israel. They understand the prophecies in Ezekiel 36, Romans 11, Hebrews 8, uh, well, so there's Jeremiah 30, Jeremiah 31, Jeremiah 32, Ezekiel 20, Ezekiel 11, Ezekiel 37. I could just go on and on. There's so many, so many scriptures that contain prophecies that show that God's not done with the nation of Israel. And they understand that. Most of the independent Baptist churches he tries to go into, they're pre-trib. They understand the fact that the post-trib rapture is a satanic lie. Uh, and yes, it is satanic, by the way. And I've discussed that in other videos. But he sends his... I like the way Git puts it, cyber thugs into other churches, and then they try to convert that church over to being in the same heret believing in the same heretical doctrines that Anderson himself holds to. And there's from where I mean I I, I live in kind of the southern part of Ontario, Canada. I'm not going to say the exact name because I don't want to get doxxed because there's crazy leftist liberals out there who just dox everybody. But there was a church uh, here in Canada that had some Anderson followers come in, start passing out DVDs and that kind of stuff, and the pastor said to them, hey, you know, don't do that here. I don't agree with, with the heresies and false doctrines of Anderson. Don't do that here. And then a the couple leaves, and then the next uh, the next week later, two more Anderson followers come in and basically do the same thing, hand out Anderson propaganda, basically, his propaganda films. So he is a wolf, 
And again, I'm not a big fan of the whole church building system. I think, again, the old IFB, in terms of, of their doctrine, they are very sound in their doctrine. But in terms of their practice, you know, a lot of what they do is unscriptural. I mean, the weekly Sunday church, the weekly Sunday meetings, you know, the, the whole the altar calls, the steeple on the on the building, the, the tithing is not scriptural at all. A lot of what they do is not scriptural. So in terms of, of doctrine, they are scripturally in line. In terms of uh, practice, a lot of them are not. So that's my issue with the whole thing. Uh, which I could go on about that, but not gonna get, not gonna do that in this video. But Anderson is a wolf. You know, he he sends his followers into other churches to convert them over to his brand of King James onlyism, which is really just heresy and completely at odds with even with even what the historical independent fundamental Baptists have believed in. So again, he's not reviving anything. He just simply he has simply just a deviant sect that is trying to proje project itself as over just reviving the old past, like any cult would. You know, and they take uh, Jeremiah 6.16 and say, Lord, is we're reviving the old paths. They're not reviving anything. They're reviving new doc new doctrines that Baptists have historically not believed in. And again, I'm not a Baptist, but I was a Baptist at one point, and I know for a fact that the doctrines that Anderson holds to are historically not Baptist doctrines. They're historically Roman Catholic doctrines, actually, if you really come down to it. But there's that factor, okay? So he's not a King James Bible believer, and he's trying to convert other churches who do believe sound, other Baptist churches who do believe sound doctrine into believing his heresies. Second of all, Anderson rejects the power of God to save sodomites out of their wicked, vile, disgusting, unnatural sin of sodomy. Okay? I use that speech because his followers will accuse people, oh, you're just soft on the, on the sin of, of sodomy. No, I'm not. Okay? Um, I've done numerous videos attacking the sin of sodomy, rebuking the sin of sodomy. You know, I've done videos... Uh, I did one video just last Pride Month called, or this this Pride Month, you know, whatever Pride Month. Uh, pride is a wicked sin, but and Anderson has a lot of pride issues too, by the way. But I did a video, just this just just this Pride Month of this year, called the sin of Sodom, where I showed that one of the sins of so of Sodom, in because uh, the verse is uh, Lamentations four verse six mentions the sin of Sodom. We compare that to Ezekiel chapter sixteen verses forty eight to fifty. It identifies one of those sins of Sodom the iniquity of thy sister Sodom as pride, fullness of bread. And I put, you know, it's kind of interesting, you know, pride is one of the iniquities of, so of thy sister Sodom. Well, Sodomite Pride Month, you know. So I'm not soft in the sin of Sodom. I've written numerous blog posts rebuking uh, Pride Month and all the wicked sin that goes on in Sodomite Pride Month and all that other stuff. I've done numerous uh, videos on BitChute, which would make it taking now for hate speech if I posted them on YouTube. You know, re rebuking the Sodomite agenda and exposing the Sodomite agenda. So I I'm not soft on the sin of sodomy. But I reject Anderson's heresy of the old Sodomites, they're just beyond the hope of salvation. Okay, and again, it's not, it's a wicked sin. Okay, it is unnatural, it's, it's vile, it's an abomination. But they can get saved, and you see about that in First uh, Corinthians chapter six, verse nine to eleven, which Anderson tries to say, "Oh, it's not uh, abusers, abusers of themselves of mankind. They're not sodomites. Yes, they are. Okay, abusers of themselves of mankind. Okay, what's it what you're referring to? You look at sodomite relationships. There's all kinds of of spousal abuse that goes on in sodomite relationships. So yes, they are abusers of themselves of mankind. Plus, when you're committing sodomite acts, you're you're abusing your body. I mean, it's abuse to your body." That's, that's what sodomite acts are. So he denies the, the plain scriptures in 1 Corinthians 6, 9 through 11, and teaches the Calvinistic type doctrine that, oh, sodomites are, are they're, they can't get saved. They're beyond salvation. It's not scriptural. And also Anderson hates the nation of Israel. I've, I've covered that in other videos. He um, said he twists Revelation 2 and not, Revelation 2 verse 9 and Revelation 3 verse 9 to try to say that the Jews are the synagogue of Satan, the Israelites. But if you actually read what the verses are talking about, the people who are blast, who are the blasphemers and who are the synagogue of Satan are actually the people like Anderson who say they're Jews and they're not, who pretend to be Israelites but they're not. Which makes me wonder too. I, I, I would like to ask Anderson, so he because he claims he's a, he's a Jew, he's an Israelite. Which tribe is he part of? Okay, if he if if he if he's now become a Jew at, when when he got saved as a six year old boy, what tribe is he part of? Is he part of uh, Judah or or uh, Israel? I'd like to know, but you know, any of Anderson's followers answer the question. You know, is he is he part of the tribe of Judah or Israel? Because if he's a spiritual Jew, what tribe? I'd like to know. And also, he did he also denies 
uh, Revelation chapter 7, which talks about the 12,000 from, from each of the 12 tribes sealed, he denies that too. Because, because it would kind of refute his whole post-trib heresy, because he says, oh, it's for Christians. Well, then why is it 12,000 12, from each of the 12 tribes sealed during that time period? Because that, that time of Jacob's trouble is for the Jewish people. It's not for Christians. Christians are not... I mean, it's called the time of Jacob's trouble, not the time of the church's trouble. But of course, he denies that too. So it's like... I mean, the heresies just, just go on and on and on. It's ridiculous. So uh, he also says that the Jews are the ones who like run the banks and run Hollywood. And I will agree. There are plenty of high-ranking Jews in Hollywood. But you know what's kind of funny about that? What's what's the religion that is mostly glorified in Hollywood? What's the, the what's the Christianity that is mostly glorified in Hollywood? It's uh, Roman Catholicism. You look at any film, whenever you have a quote-unquote Christian character, it's always a Catholic priest or, or a Roman Catholic. So if, if it's the Jews that are run Hollywood, which they are, I mean, it's it's blatantly obvious, there are Jews that run Hollywood, why are they glorifying Roman Catholicism and not the satanic false religion of Judaism? And also I want to point out too, you know, I, I do believe that Judaism is a wicked false religion. Okay, Judaism, any religion that, that denies salvation through Jesus Christ is a false religion, plain and simple. Okay, any religion that says that Jesus Christ is not the Christ which is what Judaism does say in the Talmud, it's an antichrist religion. Judaism is an antichrist religion according to the standards of 1 John 2, verse 22 to 23. Okay, I don't deny that. Okay, Judaism is a false religion. Any religion that denies that Jesus is the Christ and salvation is through Jesus Christ is a false antichrist religion. Plain and simple. But he tries to, to make it out that, you know, oh, if, if you, you say that God's not done with the nation of Israel, Israel you must be a, a Jew worshiper. You must think that Jews get some kind of free pass into heaven. It's ridiculous, okay? But back to the whole Hollywood thing, why is it that, that the Jews that run Hollywood glorify Roman Catholicism? Because you see these big, uh, big wealthy Jewish bankers, you know, they, they're, they, they're basically nothing compared to the Vatican, okay? Uh... It's not the Jews who are controlling the whole world. It's the Vatican, plain and simple. The Vatican is, it, I mean, there were trillions of dollars. Okay? These millionaire and billionaire Jews, I mean, I mean, they, they weren't, they are, they're like nothing compared to the trillionaire Vatican. Okay, there's no Jew telling the occultic high priest known as the Black Pope and his occult high priest, pre, high, occult high priest assistant, I'll put it that way, known as the White Pope, there's no Jews telling them what to do or how to run things, or submitting to them. Okay, the Pope does. The Pope doesn't submit to the Jews. The Jews submit to the Pope. Okay, whenever you have these so-called high-level Jews in power, all of them, at some point, will get a papal knight, or already are having a papal knight, or have a papal knighthood. You know, oh, the Pope is going to the Jerusalem and bound to the Wailing Wall. Yeah, it's just a little psyop. Okay, notice that every every world leader has to go meet with the Pope. But of course, Anderson also denies Jesuit control too. He, deny, he denies that the Catholic Church is Mystery Babylon. He says that, oh, America is Mystery Babylon. Well, America is a wicked nation. I'll, I'll give it to you that. But, you know, there are nations in Europe that have way worse morals than America. They're, like Some of these Western European nations are so filthy and degenerate that like they make America seem... They, they, I mean, America is like very conservative compared to some of these, these wicked, disgusting Western European nations that have legal incest, have legal prostitution, have openly nude beaches and openly nude parks just out, uh, out in the open. You know, pretty disgusting, but a whole other side issue. But again, there's no, there's no Jew telling the occult high priest known as the Black Pope what to do. The Jesuit general. Uh, the Vatican's the one that runs things, okay? And are there high-level Jews in power? Absolutely, yeah. And guess who they submit to? The occultic high priest, the, the uh, Black Pope. And of course, the Black Pope and his henchmen, the White Pope, they submit to, ultimately submit to Satan. That's, the, that's their master. But those are some of the few points I want to cover about Anderson. He's not a King James Bible believer. He rejects the power of God to save sinners, uh, sodomites, from their sin of sodomy. He hates the nation of Israel and accuses those who, who disagree with him as, oh, you're just a Jew worshiper. Even even though I have established numerous times that, you know, Judaism is a wicked religion, okay? It denies Jesus Christ, and Judaism is will send, will send Jews to hell. Just plain and simple. Salvation through Jesus Christ. If a Jew dies in Judaism and rejecting Jesus Christ, he goes to hell. Plain and simple. It's a sad thing, but Judaism is a ticket to hell because it denies Jesus Christ. 
But that doesn't mean that God's not done with the nation of Israel. In fact, you read the prophecies in Ezekiel 38, Jeremiah uh, 32, Jeremiah 31, I mean, diff many different prophecies. Um, God brings the nation of Israel back in unbelief and in rebellion. He doesn't bring them back as all saved Christians. That's the whole point for the time of Jacob's trouble, which Anderson again deceives his audience and doesn't tell them that. But I'll leave you off with this, okay? Uh, don't be deceived by Anderson's charade, because you know he may help me. He may hold up a King James Bible. He may profess to be King James only. He may profess to be reviving the old past of the of the Independent Baptist movement. He's not. Okay. Don't be deceived by Anderson's cult. I've done numerous videos. Other people have done videos exposing this cult for what it is, and just simply a deviant sect that is trying to establish their own strange doctrines and convert churches churches that do believe like Baptist churches that do believe sound doctrine over to their heretical system. So don't be deceived by Stephen Anderson. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.